Simple Life presents Things You Should Keep to Yourself Some of the good qualities of a successful well-liked and happy person is that he is caring, helpful, and above all he is transparent. All these points to the fact that most of the things about such a person's life are like an open book. He does not hide anything, especially from his family, friends, and relatives. Yet there are a few things which one should always keep secret. This is so because telling the world just won't bring you any good. Rather this would be foolish and harmful on the physical and metaphysical level. It is not advisable to communicate every detail of your life to everyone. Sometimes a listening ear becomes a running mouth. Keep your secrets to yourself. You aren't lying. Some things are better kept private, don't you agree? Discussing your personal information with everyone, especially sensitive issues, usually results in disappointment. The smart strategy, don't tell anyone. Of course, it is easier said than done. Here are things you should think about keeping to yourself. 1. Your goals. Keep your goals to yourself. Here's the reason why. Research has shown that sharing our goals with others makes those goals less likely to happen. That's because we feel a bit of instant gratification when our goals are noticed by others, and as a result, our minds have been tricked into feeling that we've already reached our goals. Then, instead of actually pursuing them, we stop or become less motivated because we feel there's no longer a need to achieve those goals. Psychologists call this phenomenon social reality. 2. You're looking for another job. This is something you definitely don't want to share with your boss or your coworkers. If you're looking for another job, keep that information to yourself. Or, you just might find yourself out of a job, especially if your boss begins questioning your loyalty to the company. Rather than wait for you to quit, they just might decide to fire you instead. Plus, co-workers who secretly want your job would like nothing better than to see you out on your keister. They may use your job search announcement as an opportunity to get you fired before you even have a chance to hand in your resignation. If a company needs to make cuts, they're more likely to get rid of someone who doesn't plan on being there much longer anyway. That could spell trouble for you if you haven't even been offered another position yet. 3. Your past affairs. When you're head over heels in love, you may be tempted to divulge every little detail to your significant other. But there's a big difference between being honest with someone and telling them your entire life story. Unless you're cheating right now, it's probably not a good idea to tell your partner that you've been unfaithful in past relationships. After all, it's behind you now. It's all in the past. Besides, confessing to past infidelities might very well cause your current partner to distrust you. Once the trust in a relationship is gone, the love is usually the next thing to go. 4. You have a criminal record. Sometimes you're required to tell others about any convictions you may have. But, if you have a minor criminal record, it may be best to keep that information a secret. Having a criminal record, even a minor one. An arrest with no convictions can ruin your life. It can affect your job opportunities, credit rating, housing options, and your chances of earning a college degree. Unfortunately, criminal records are considered public information and are therefore accessible by pretty much anyone. But, there is a way to keep prying eyes out of your business, get your record expunged or sealed. Expungement, also known as, sealing, is a court-administered process that restricts public access to criminal records, although law enforcement agencies will still be able to access your record. You usually must file a petition to have your record expunged, but in some cases expungement is automatic. 5. Your financial situation. No one cares how much money you and your spouse makes. 
Besides, if you happen to make more money than your family, friends, or co-workers, they could end up resenting you or worse, taking advantage of you. Your finances are something that affects only you. Keep your financial balance to yourself and avoid greedy and envious comments from people who can't hide their jealousy inside them. What goes inside your wallet is nobody's business but yours. 6. Your weaknesses. If it wasn't a widely known fact that kryptonite is deadly to Superman, his enemies would never know they could use it against him. The same thing goes for your enemies or frenemies knowing your weaknesses. In some cases, letting people know your weaknesses gives them way too much power over you, and they just might end up using your weaknesses against you. Insecure people are especially good at this. Pointing out your weaknesses takes the attention away from theirs. 7. Your marital problems. Unless they're also your therapist, your family and friends don't need to know about your marital problems. While you may be tempted to vent to those close to you, doing so can place extra strain on your relationship once you and your spouse patch things up. That's because even though you've forgiven them or they've forgiven you, whichever the case may be, your family and friends might not be as forgiving. The fact that your partner cheated, admitted to hating their in-laws, or committed some other gaffe, will always be in the back of the minds of your family and friends. As a result, they're likely to hold it against them. 8. Your health condition. While it's important to discuss your health with your doctor and your family, you might want to keep any illnesses, physical or mental you may have a secret from those you work with. The last thing you want is your boss questioning your ability to perform your duties because you have a chronic illness or are suffering from depression. While it might be permissible for some employees to call in for a mental health day, keep your specific issues under wraps. 9. Your good deeds. Always make sure that you don't talk about the good things you've done for others. For those who can see your kind actions, they don't need further explanations. It can also make them feel humiliated when you talk about your own actions. If you are doing good just to brag about yourself, does that count as good? Be kind, be humble. Doing good should be like that. After all, no one likes a show-off. When you start bragging about your heroics, you take the spotlight off the people you're helping and place it squarely on you and your huge ego. 10. Your past resentments. We've all been wronged by someone, but there's no need to go around holding grudges against people for stuff that happened 30 years ago. There's certainly no need to pass on the pain to others. The best advice is to just let it go. What's in the past should stay in the past. When we hold on to resentment, it can lead to unhappiness, continual irritability, and psychological compromise including excessive anxiety and depression. For those of you struggling to let go of past hurt, try to see what's going on in the other person's life that might have caused them to hurt you. Don't resort to getting revenge. Try forgiving them. Check out the link below for your free audiobook from Audible. If you like the video do subscribe, like, and comment. Do hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification. Thank you for watching.